Hello students, now we are going to discuss about the enzyme biotechnology. In short, we are going to discuss how the enzymes can be immobilized or enzyme immobilization used into the field of biotechnology. Right, so let's start uh, with this video. Coming to the enzyme biotechnology, it is nothing but enzyme are the biocatalyzed that are capable of mediating many biological reactions and conversion of elements into the intermediate products and uh, so on to the final products right so enzymes it is being used uh, for the catalyzing or initiating the different types of biological reaction maybe it is inside the body or maybe it is outside of the body right and the conversion of elements or the precursors into the intermediate products or into the final product so that it can be useful for the different human purpose right so coming to the enzyme is a substance that act as a catalyst in living organism right so it's not that uh, enzyme it will be there into the human being it will be there into the animals plants right so uh, these substance they will act as a catalyst means it will initiate or support the uh, different types of biological mechanism reactions into the living organisms enzyme found in nature have been used since ancient times it is not that today only we are using the enzyme it is there uh, first of all it is there into the uh, living organism so that's what it is being used and uh, outside of the living organism it is being used for the different purpose for the preparation of the cheese curd uh, paneer and all those things right in the production of food products say for example cheese then sawdust beer wine and the vinegar and in the manufacture of commodities different commodities say for example leather indigo and uh, lining right so these are the different uses which is being used in the former days also all of these processes relied and on either enzyme produced by the spontaneously growing microorganism or enzyme present in added preparation such as the the calves rumens and uh, or the papaya fruit right so uh, it may be uh, by the microorganism or by the different types of plant right the study of industrial enzyme and their use in is called uh, nothing but enzyme technology right coming to the immobilization of enzyme so what are the immobilization <coughs> immobilization of enzyme can be defined as the confinement of an enzyme right it is which is nothing but biocatalyzed confinement means keeping into the one place so that it can be uh, used use for the initiating or catalyze the biological reaction in a distinguished distinct, uh, distinct phase separated from the bulk phase but allowing it to exchange with the later okay so that it can be convert into the final products bulk phase consists of a substrate an effector or inhibitor Immobilized enzyme is either physically entrapped or covalently bonded by the chemical means to an inert insoluble matrix or carrier. Okay, so that's what a physically entrapped or covalently bonded by any chemical, right? By the chemical, whatever we have allowed in for the reaction during the enzyme immobilization. In other words, we can say it involves the restrictive localization of enzyme, right? Matrix is generally a high molecular weight polymer, say for example, cellulose, then poly polyacrylamide and alginate. What is the need or necessity of enzyme immobilization, right? Immobilization, it accelerates the chemical reaction, specificity and uh, unmodified enzyme, it is cost effective, it is not difficult to separate right we can separate it later attached to po uh, the polymers or matrix uh, which cause the reuse so these are the different uh, need for the immobilization and the advantages also it is there there are different advantages of en immobilized enzymes say for example uh, recovered at the end of the reaction thereby it can be reused right so enzymes whatever the enzyme we have used for the different biological reaction that can be recovered and it can be re reused for the further reaction economy of the reaction is improved right so that's what economically also it is benefited easy separation of enzyme from the products occur <coughs> that is the one of the advantage stability of immobilized enzyme increase right so that stability is also one of the point enhance the enzyme property enzyme property can be enhanced or increased efficiency of the catalytic reaction is better in few cases right so that is also one of the better control of reaction can be achieved Right, so control of the reaction also can be achieved when we are doing the enzyme mobilization. Catalytic process can be operated continuously. Multi-enzyme reaction it is possible at the same time. 
potential in industry and industrial and medicinal use that's what we are going for the enzyme immobilization there are certain techniques uh, methods uh, of the enzyme immobilization basically two method physical method and a chemical method under physical method there are three method adsorption entrapment and membrane confinement under chemical method again there are three method covalent bonding cross linking and complexation and the chelation right so let's discuss one by one adsorption adsorption means when whatever the enzyme it is going to attach with onto the surface of the uh, whatever the uh, uh, precursor precursor we have uh, incorporated for the particular biological reaction non specific binding like uh, electrostatic or the hydrophobic affinity binding to special ligand right so hydrophobic means which will uh, avoid the moisture right so that's what affinity binding to special ligand special ligand means it will be uh, donating the lone pair of electron to the center or center atom of the particular uh, component so this is called a ligand so with this ligand uh, this kinds of adsorption or attachment it is going to have mostly explained in the following terms uh, these are the terms uh, uh, we are using to explain this static static uh, pores uh, dynamic pores uh, reactor loading and electro deposition so here adsorbent what we are, whatever we are using mostly polymeric uh, matrix uh, can be used example are alumina bentonite cmc silica gel and uh, titania right so like that we can remember it coming to the uh, we have to mention here the advantage and disadvantage coming to the advantage <coughs> this method is simple and economical of course uh, limited loss of activity is there and can be recycled regenerated and reused that's what r3 can be uh, here right so whatever the thing whatever the enzyme we are using by the uh, by the method of adsorption we can reuse and again we can regain that one the particular enzyme and we can further use for the further biological reaction disadvantage also it is there coming to the disadvantage relatively low surface area is up binding so of course the surface area if it will be more the more bind more adsorption we can see uh, here but uh, in this case uh, low surface area we are going to have exposure of enzyme to microbial attack that's uh, another chances of the uh, microbial attack it is going to have with this method a smaller particle cause high pressure drop in continuous packed bed reactor right so that is one of the yield are often low due to the inactivation and uh, desorption that is the right one uh, coming to the second method physical method under physical method, enzyme entrapping or enzyme entrapment enzyme are held or entrapped within the suitable gels or fibers right so in gel uh, uh, it may cause uh, matrix polymerization precipitation or coagulation this with this method the entrapment mechanism happen entrapment of entrapment in sodium alginate is most widely used for the entrapment like microbial animal or plant enzyme cell right enzyme or cell say for example glucose oxidase plus uh, polyacrylamide uh, gel entrapment we can see so here the whatever the adsorption we are using these are the nothing but uh, polyacrylamide uh, collagen silica gel g and uh, alginate the here also there are certain advantage and disadvantage coming to the advantage no chemical modification we can see relatively stable form easy handling and reuse coming to disadvantage we can write may diffusion of substrate and the product occur so diffusion it is one of the disadvantage substrate accessibility may reduce due to the free radical polymerization of gel then enzyme inactivation may occur loss of enzyme contain which is also one of the uh, great disadvantage so here uh, <coughs> uh, next thing uh, you can see here in this uh, method this is the enzyme entrapment enzyme plus sodium alginate mixer is added drop wise into the sodium uh, calcium chloride solution so beads of the calcium alginates we can see so this is one of the mechanism of enzyme entrapment coming to the third method under physical that is the membrane confinement confinement means keeping the particular membrane into the inner side so that the reaction can be takes place the uh, enzyme molecules or uh, uh, generally uh, aqueous form are confined within the semi permeable membrane right so here reaction vessels which will be there in this uh, there will be two partition partition into two chamber by the semi permeable membrane okay so one chamber contain enzyme while the other chamber substrate and product will be there okay hollow fiber uh, hollow fiber uh, membrane uh, we, which we are going to uh, use in this uh, membrane confinement entrapment in semi permeable fiber say for example cellulose and uh, cellulose and uh, triacetate or sphere like nylon and collodion okay in which the enzyme will be in the lumen or hollow space while the fiber and sphere will be in the submerged in the substrate so in that way uh, it is going to confine <coughs> micro capsule uh, what is the role here enzyme are packed in the micro capsule formed by the polymerization like phase separation or chemical polymerization and the liposomes also uh, enzymes can be bonded into the constant 
कॉन्सेंट्रिक स्फेयर ऑफ द लाइपो लाइपोइडियल मेम्ब्रेन फॉर्म्ड बाय द एडिशन ऑफ फॉस्फोलिपिड सो हियर आल्सो देयर आर सर्टेन एडवांटेज एंड डिसएडवांटेज कमिंग टू द एडवांटेज नो एंजाइम लीकेज वी आर गोइंग टू हैव एंड नो चेंज इन एंजाइम एक्टिविटी दैट इज गोइंग टू हैव बट देयर आर एडवांटेज डिसएडवांटेज डिफ्यूजनल बैरियर टू द सबस्ट्रेट एंड प्रोडक्ट दैट इट इज एंड इट इज नॉट द कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव that is the disadvantage coming to the chemical method chemical bonding we are going to have the enzyme form covalent link with active group of the matrix like uh, terminal nh2 or cooh carboxylic etc support with the group like uh, hydroxyl group or carb uh, carboxylic acid uh, functional group uh, support and uh, nh2 support activation right so note here uh, what what we can uh, uh, need to uh, take care here the functional group of enzyme which is involved in the linkage should not affect the active property of the said enzyme right advantage and disadvantage uh, coming to this not affected by the ph and ionic strength this is the certain uh, advantage and uh, there are disadvantage active site may be modified and not cost effective again it is not cost effective right so in ad adsorbent what we can use uh, the agrose uh, cellulose uh, then spherose polyacrylamide etc coming to the cross linking the another method uh, it involves the cross linking of enzyme to multifunctional reagent without use of solid support right multifunctional reagent so alternatively chemical breeze up the some other molecule between and with the chemical support uh, reaction of the enzyme with reagent breeze or chemical breeze okay so that is going to have activated carrier are used like uh, saffrose by the cnbr and uh, the saffrose by ethyl chloro formate here you can see the how these are the enzymes and how the possible cross linking whatever the scope it is there it is going to form the triangle and it is like that it is going to have the cross linking there are certain advantage and disadvantage coming to the advantage strong linkage leads to low enzyme linkage uh, leakage while use okay so that is the uh, low low enzyme leakage while use that is the advantage and the higher stability we are going to have ph ionic substrate concentration and etc coming to the disadvantage partial or wholly inactivation by active site modification and it is also not cost effective means uh, whatever the price we are paying for the particular reaction uh, the that is not uh, worth fully or uh, the quality wise or quantity wise and all those right so these are the different methods of the enzyme immobilization into the physical and chemical point of view thank you all